Bismillah, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning to all my beloved Form 2 students. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize if today's video is going to, be, to get a little bit noisy because today I am at a very special place. Do you still remember where this is? That's right, we are at school. Because today your form four and form four, your form five brothers and sisters are taking their English paper for SPM. Okay, but enough about school. I, I hope to see you back at school soon. Uh, but today, today we are going to look at your textbook. This is okay. Today we'll be doing. Oops, oops, that's not what I want to adjust. Yes, this is what I want to adjust. Okay, today we will be doing a reading which is on page 66 of your textbook. A quick guide to secondhand shopping. So please make sure that you have your notebook and textbook with you as you watch this video. Okay? If you're all set, then let's begin. We will start first with vocabulary and pronunciation. Pronunciation is, of course, sebutan. Now, in English, of course, you do not need to pronounce like an American or an Englishman. Tak perlu cakap macam Mat Saleh, macam orang putih sebenarnya. But, we should at least make sure that our pronunciation is at least correct. Okay? Sebutan yang betul sahaja. Walaupun slang tak macam orang putih, tak apa. But we don't want to say the wrong word when we want to say another word. Okay, so first, uh, we have eight words here. Um, some might be familiar to you, some might be new. Okay, number one we have. So please repeat after me and get the pronunciations right. Okay, number one is bargain. Bargain. Okay, not bargain. Bargain. Number two, poverty. Poverty. Number three, people in need for unwanted possessions. Unwanted possessions. Possessions. Five, charity. Charity. Number six, huh, how do you pronounce this word? I hear a lot of students. Actually, not just students, a lot of adults also say this word incorrectly. They say swap, but actually, it is swap. Swap. Okay? Swap. And seven, we have value. Value. And eight, environment. Environment. Uh, but if you say this word really quickly, usually people just drop. The end, they don't say the end, they say environment. Environment. Boleh juga, as long as people understand you. Uh, now, let's take a look at the meanings of these words. Okay, if there are any of these eight words that are not familiar to you, what I want you to do is to write the word in your notebook and please make note of the meaning that I'm going to share with you. Alright? Okay. So, if you need time to write it in your book, you can pause the video first for you to write. Okay, so meaning. Number one, bargain. Bargain are things which are cheap, benda yang murah. Murah daripada harga biasanya. Poverty, kemiskinan. From the word poor. Poor, miskin. Poverty, kemiskinan. And number three, we have people in need. Ialah orang yang memerlukan orang susah people ini orang susah for we have unwanted possessions possessions mean things that you own benda yang kamu miliki benda milik kamu unwanted want nak unwanted tak tak nak tak mahu so unwanted possessions are barang-barang yang kamu tak mahu lagi charity is kebajikan Kebajikan, charity It can also be Charity can mean kebajikan Boleh juga maksud dia Badan kebajikan Benda Mana pertubuhan yang menjaga kebajikan orang So that's charity And swap 
Okay, I think most of you know what swap is. You just don't say the word correctly. Swap adalah kita exchange, tukar. And value is nilai. Environment is persekitaran. Environment, things around you. Environment. Okay, so then let's take a look at your textbook. We are going to read the text for today. Alright, so this is page 66. Cultural Awareness, the United Kingdom. A quick guide to secondhand shopping. Um, so I want you to read as you are listening to me reading so that you can practice reading and practice your pronunciation. A quick guide to secondhand shopping. Even if you haven't got lots of money to spend, you can still go shopping. Read on to find out where to find the best bargains. Charity shops. Why do people in Britain like shopping in charity shops? First, because of the low prices. And second, because when you buy something, the money is used to help people in need. For example, Oxfam, which has shops all over the UK, works to stop poverty in countries around the world. What can you find in a charity shop? Used clothes, shoes, books, toys, DVDs, and kitchen equipment. It might take a while to find what you need, but it's fun looking. Car boot sales. What do British people do with their old or unwanted possessions? Take them to a car boot sale. Every Saturday and Sunday, people all over Britain fill the boot of their car with things they don't want and take them to one of these sales. Car boot sales attract hundreds of people, so get there early for the best bargains. You never know what you might find. Recently, recently means uh, baru baru ini. Recently, someone bought an old picture frame at a car boot sale for one pound and later found it was worth five hundred thousand pounds. So this here is the pound symbol, five hundred thousand pounds. That's an amazing story, isn't it? Swap shops. Do you want to get some new clothes without spending any money? The answer is a swap shop. Swap shops are events where you and other people can exchange clothes that you don't want. The clothes have to be good quality and look new. You can then choose clothes of the same value that other people have brought to the swap shop. Swap shops are popular with fashionable people who have lots of nice clothes that they never wear. Swapping clothes is also better for the environment than buying new ones. Alright, uh, now that you have heard me reading, I would like you to practice reading this on your own. Try to read as fluently as you can. Selancar yang boleh. If there are any words that you are not sure of the pronunciation, you can just uh, rewind the video to listen to it again. Okay? So, you may pause the video for a while to practice reading. And after you have practiced, let's take a look at the question here. Do you like shopping? Why? Or why not if you say you don't like shopping? So, I would like to know your answers. Do you like shopping? And leave your answers in the comments section below so I can easily see what your answers are and I can respond there. Okay? So you don't need to... Um, you can write this in your notebook but you can just simply type your answers in the comments section. Alright! And uh, this is the exercise that I want you to do in your notebook. Number three, read the guide again and answer the questions. So there are six questions here. Please write them in your notebook and find the answers for these questions. Okay, so again, write these questions and find the answers from the text. Okay. Oh, by the way. By the way, for English, you do not need to repeat the questions. So, for example, the question here is, how do charity shops use the money they make? 
you do you do not need to say charity shops use the money they make by contohnya macam tu terus jawab je untuk apa dia gunakan tu to for what untuk apa okay so now uh, find the questions uh, find the questions <laughs> write the questions find the answers and write them in your notebook pause the video and come back for the answers okay welcome back let's take a look at the answers so question number one uh, please take your own answers with a red pen how do charity shops use the money they make the answer is to help people in need here is the answer for number one to help people in need people in need apa dia tadi orang yang memerlukan orang susah number two which charity has a lot of shops the answer is oxfam just oxfam kedai yang mana oxfam that's all you need Three. What do people sell at car boot sales? It is car boot sales over here. The answer is things they don't want, or their old or unwanted possessions. So you can have two answers: their old or unwanted possessions, or things they don't want. Because both of those things are the same thing. Benda yang mereka tak, tak mahu dah. What's number four? How much did a valuable picture frame cost at a car boot sale? So, how much did it cost? Okay, the value is £500,000. But how much did it cost at the car boot sale? The answer is £1. One pound. Kosnya satu pound. Nilai dia lima ratus ribu pound. And five. What kind of clothes can you find at swap shops? The answer is good quality and look new. And finally, the last one. What are the advantages of swapping? Advantages adalah kelebihan. So the answer is better for the environment than buying new ones. So that's one. Better for the environment. What's the other one? Hmm, which one is it? I wonder because there have to be two advantages. So uh, that's one. The second one I would think is this one. Get some new clothes without spending any money. Because you can get new clothes but you don't need to spend any money. So that is clearly an advantage. Satu kelebihan of swap shops. Right. And finally, let's do some cultural comparison. Perbandingan budaya. We've read about... Uh, second-hand shopping in the UK so let's compare it to our own country so we have four questions here for answer the questions about your country so our country is of course Malaysia number one do people like buying second-hand things why or why not so what do you think in Malaysia do people like to buy second-hand things number two are there any charity shops kedai kebajikan in your town or city Number three, what do people do with things that they don't want anymore? Four, can you go shopping on a Sunday? If so, where? And five, do young people ever swap clothes with each other? So I want you to answer all these questions in your book. And as usual, I will send a link. Send the pictures of your exercise book to me. And I will try to provide feedback as soon as I can. So that will be all for today's lesson. Thank you very much everyone for joining this lesson and I will see you in the next one. Assalamualaikum.